What is up guys, we're back with another speed test camera comparison. Today we got the 10R versus the 8 Plus here. And uh, just to be direct with the question, um, I would definitely go with the um, the 10R here if I'm looking for a new phone because they're both around the same price point. The reason why the 8 Plus retains such a high price point at 300 bucks still pretty much is because it's the only big iPhone with a home button. So, you know, that's pretty much why uh, it's still a very valuable iPhone. But if you really don't need the physical home button, the 10R is still one of the best budget iPhones that you can pick up. And again, it's the same price, 300 bucks. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. We're both on iOS 15.3. I'll go ahead and confirm that uh, for you guys here. Boom. And um, yeah, so we have the Apple A11 chip, 3 gigs of RAM, and then the Apple A12 chip, which also is another big uh, deciding factor here, mostly because of gaming performance, which we'll see. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. And then we'll check out the pictures. You guys can let me know uh, what you guys think about that. All right, so Subway Surf, we'll get into that first. Also, another thing with the 10R is that you get a, a little bit more modern looking design. So, so we got the 10R first in there by a, a good second there. And uh, you can see when I say modern, I mean the whole thing, the screen, also the back of the phone just looks more modern. Let's go ahead and open YouTube. It looks like the 8 Plus actually a little bit faster there. So you guys can see a little bit of a back and forth here. Um, I'm not surprised at all because the 8 Plus is still a very fast phone. Boom. Google Earth. Temple Run. Yeah, got to to pop up. But they both um, still feel very smooth, guys. Like I said, you won't really notice a difference in terms of performance unless uh, we pull up PUBG, which I will show you guys here. That's where you'll see like that real uh, performance difference. But as far as getting into applications, kind of like a back and forth. They're both either kind of tied or one kind of, you know, jumps out on one. So it's not really super consistent results here. So I wouldn't necessarily be worried about, you know, app opening speeds and overall lagginess and stuff like that because they're both very smooth. They both feel like they perform identical, to be honest. So let's go ahead and check out the Geekbench scores here. So these are your Geekbench scores here. Now, uh, surprisingly, these were ran on both, yeah, iOS 15, we got a higher score on multi-core, but you can see the single core, uh, there's kind of a big difference. So that's why you're seeing like, it not be such a massive difference uh, there. Now, as far as the GPU, Benchmarks, you can kind of see that that bigger difference there uh, with N22 benchmarks as well too. Let's go ahead and open up PUBG. All right, so this is what I was talking about as far as the uh, gaming performance goes. You guys see on the 10R, I can do smooth extreme all the way up to HDR, even go up to Ultra HD, and it's a very smooth gaming experience, guys. Um, it's really one of the best gaming experience you can get for. Uh, that $300 price point. Wow, suck. Um, now, you'll see the kind of the big difference here. So with the 8 Plus, even though it's still a very good phone for gaming, I can still do smooth extreme. As you can see, I'm limited to ultra as I go up in graphics, and I have no option for ultra HD on this phone. But it is still a very smooth and nice experience. So if you're just like a casual gamer, uh, you won't really care. Um, but if you do play games on your phone, the 10R is going to be uh, the better pick.
All right, so there is a kind of a big difference with the cameras here. So the 10R, it does only have a single lens. It's a 12 megapixel lens, and it is 4K at 24, 30, and 60. Seven megapixel selfie cam shoots in 1080p 60. And then the 8 Plus, it does have a dual camera setup. It's a 12 megapixel standard. And then a 12 megapixel telephoto that does 2x optical zoom. So you're able to kind of get zoom in shots uh, without missing detail. And then you have 4K video with the same settings, 24, 30, and 60, with a 7 megapixel uh, selfie cam on there. Uh, shoots in 1080p. So let's check out those side by side stills so we can see what those look like. All right, let's check out these speakers. We do have stereo speakers on both of these devices here. Max volume, eight plus. So off the rip, I noticed that uh, you do have more bass on the 10R. Um, they kind of seem about the same volume and they both kind of distort a little bit. Yeah, but you definitely have a fuller sound on the 10R for sure. Yeah, you can definitely feel the kicks in the 808s uh, much better on the 10R. So uh, there you go. Like I said earlier, you know, my money, I'm going with the 10R unless I really, you know, want that home button. So what do you guys think? Be sure to let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one.